Welcome to the Fit Dad Nation podcast, forging strong fathers and raising a stronger generation. It's time to get up or shut up with your host, Steve Roy. Hey guys, this is Steve Roy, host of the Fit Dad Nation podcast. Welcome to the show. I appreciate you listening. Um, So before I get into the episode today, uh, if you are a dad and you're listening to the show, and most likely you are a dad, if you are listening to the show, uh, I want to invite you to join our community. So there's a couple ways to do that. Uh, first, we have um, a great free community uh, on, on Facebook. Um, it's called the Fit Dad Base Camp. So it's a free private group. You have to apply to get in, ask you a couple questions. And it's a great place to, to kind of connect with other dads. We do a lot of stuff in there. And, you know, I, uh, I, I'm part of a lot of different Facebook groups. And uh, one of the things that I really like is is just kind of the realness of the group. You know, there's no egos. We're not we're not flexing. We're not putting up pictures of ourselves half naked and, and showing off abs. It's just a bunch of regular dads just trying to live healthier. We also have uh, our private uh, member community called the Fit Dad Nation Inner Circle. Uh, that's our um, group where you know the guys are really committed to changing their lives. We work uh, accountability based, work in teams. Uh, and it's it's a phenomenal place. We do monthly challenges every, every single month, whether it's fitness related, lifestyle, diet. We do a bunch of different things. Uh, so if you if you're ready to take back your life and you're serious about making change and you're ready to get to work, um, you can certainly check that out at fdnic.com. If you want to join our free private Facebook group, that's fitdadnation.com forward slash community. So today I want to talk about something that I get a lot of questions about, and I don't I don't talk about this a lot. Uh, just because it's so overhyped and, and it's just overdone online. Uh, and that's um, workout supplements. And more specifically, today I want to talk about some reasons that you should not take workout supplements. So I'm kind of in the minority when it comes to this stuff. And honestly, I think mainly because a lot of, we'll call them fitness professionals in quotes, Instagram influencers, they make money selling or promoting supplements. You know, as you've seen, especially on Instagram, where they have these influencers, and I don't really consider myself an influencer. I don't really give a shit about that term. But people with large followings, regardless of how they got them, get approached by companies. I've been approached by dozens of companies say, hey, you know, we like what you're doing. We think you might be a good fit for our brand. We sell XYZ supplement, program, product, whatever. Would you be interested in in repping for us? You know, basically, we'll we'll pay you to promote our products, you know, take pictures, you know, of you using it, talk about how great it is, whatever, right? I've done a few of those, and I mean like a few in the last five or six years, just a couple that I actually believed in. And I've turned down a lot, and I've turned down a lot of opportunities to make some money just because I don't believe in the products. I don't believe that, you know, um, compromising, you know, my integrity is worth hundreds or thousands of dollars even it's just not good business long term i don't i don't i don't choose to do things that way but a lot anyway we see a lot of it it's an easy way to make money um by just promoting you know you you talk about oh man i love this this product this protein powder this pre-workout this post-workout i love it i take it every day that's why i'm so ripped and jacked you know here's my affiliate link boom and then you know they can make a bunch of sales and everybody gets paid out so anyway you know, I'm not I'm not going to say that all supplements are bad because they're not. You know, I I personally take pre-workout still and I've talked about this ex- extensively on the podcast in on on my website uh, fitdonation.com. And so I'm not just going to sit here and poo poo all supplements because certainly they're not all bad. Um, but what I'm saying is there's a lot of reasons in my opinion that you just shouldn't take them. You know, um, the first I'll say is if, if you're not covering the basics, and I talk about this a lot too, if you're just not covering the basics of good health and fitness and wellness, you have no business using supplements. It just doesn't make any sense. You're just trying to, you know, quick fix it. It doesn't work that way. So when someone comes to me and says, Steve, I want to take creatine, or Steve, I want to start taking protein powders, or, Steve, I want to take BCAAs, or whatever, you ask them a couple questions. Are you covering the basics first? And if so, let's talk about possibly using supplements. Number one, are you strength training three, four days a week? Yes or no? Are you you doing some form of conditioning work, whether it's intervals, circuit training, HIIT training, whatever, a couple days a week? Are you eating mostly, like the vast majority of your foods is high quality, nutrient-dense foods? 
Are you drinking plenty of water, like at least half a gallon or more? Are you getting seven, eight hours of sleep a night? Right? Are you taking care of your mental health, your stress levels? Are you getting outside? You know, if the answer is no to one or more of those things, in my opinion, you don't need a supplement. You need to focus on the basics. And honestly, and I could probably just stop this show right now and say that if all you need are the, are the things I just mentioned, really, consistently, just those, you know, whatever, five or six simple things that I just said, if you focus on those things consistently over years, you'll have great health, you know, unless something, of course, you know, goes wrong with you, whatever. But generally speaking, that's all you need. Do you need supplements to... Uh, enhance your performance, you know, maybe at high levels. If you're an elite athlete, you're competing, you're trying to get like super shredded for some particular reason or, you know, whatever, then yeah, can those things help? Possibly, sure. But for the vast, and I mean the vast majority of men, especially listening to the show, because a lot of guys listening to the show are not elite athletes, they're not competitors, they're regular dads like me, you, you don't need it, right? It just It's just a waste of money. Uh, and it's cool, it's hip, you know, you see Jocko on TV, you know, uh, or, or YouTube or wherever, Jocko's talking about his, uh, you know, his product line, and you feel like a badass ordering it, you get it in the mail, it's in this cool package, hell yeah, you know, uh, and th- that's fine if that's your thing, but do you need it? No. You're better off focusing on just the basics. So, I will say, second of all, another reason that just makes no sense to take supplements is if, if you're trying to get quick results, thinking that any supplement, anything you can buy off the shelves is going to speed up the process of you losing body fat and gaining lean muscle, right? At the end of the day, those are the only two things, you know, aside from overall heart health, cardiovascular health, you know, those things. Um, if, if your goal is to lose body fat and or gain lean muscle, which honestly, is 99% of us, you're, you're not going to shortcut that with anything you can buy off of the shelves. You know, can you buy something at the gym, you know, in the stall at Gold's Gym that will speed up your performance and your results? Sure. But we're not talking about steroids. I've never I've never tried steroids, nor will I ever try steroids. It's just, it's just not worth it to me. Um, but anything legal, any legal supplement is n- not going to help you lose fat any faster or gain muscle any faster than just eating a high quality diet, training training hard, training smart, and taking care of your lifestyle issues. You just it's just it's so easy to believe that faster results are possible because what we see online, a lot of it is bullshit. A lot of these testimonials, the time frames, this person, you know, lost sixty pounds in eight weeks and look at them, they're super shredded and they were a fat slob before. Right? That that's just bullshit, you know, for the most part. Can those things happen? Yes. Do they happen? often not really you know your best bet again is is to stay away from gnc vitamin shop ordering online getting caught up in the hype um you know and and i've talked about this before and even we've done the 75 hard with andy frisella who owns first foreign supplements which is a great supplement company right they have high quality supplements i've used their stuff protein powders right but at the end of the day, that's no different than any other supplement. It's still a supplement. It supplements an already existing set of healthy habits and lifestyle factors um, that you should be doing. And again, if you're not, stop ordering this shit. Like, I'm in a bunch of different Facebook groups, and I see a lot of questions about fitness and supplements. You know, how do I lose weight? How do I do this? How do I get more muscular? How do I get more protein in? And there's always, always, always guys that jump in there promoting supplements, right? And we don't talk enough about the stuff that's that's just fucking boring, right? And I, you know, I just even hate talking about this because I bring it up all the time, and it's it is boring. It's not sexy. It doesn't get much attention online. You know, it's 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 just because getting fit is not exciting. It's not sexy. It's not. It's only sexy because the internet and the social media and mainstream media makes it sexy because there's a massive amount of money to be made in it. That's it. You know, getting fit, like if you looked at my lifestyle over the last, let's call it 20 years, 
because I've been, you know, in the gym consistently for 20 plus years, 25 years. It's extremely mundane. Like there's, there's, you know, I'll spice it up a little bit with some cool workouts. And a lot of the stuff that I do, uh, is for video purposes. Like I'll, I'll go find a cool place to work out or I'll think of some cool exercises to do to show uh, on social media because what I do day to day, it's insanely boring. Nobody wants to see that. No one is, you know, I'm, uh, having an online business, I'm forced to do some things that I wouldn't normally do. And I'm not, I'm not talking about, you know, doing anything that um, messes with um, m- my philosophy on training or, or my integrity. I'm just talking about I have to get a little bit flashier. I'm, I'm not a flashy guy, as you know, uh, that I that I normally would do because, yeah, strength training three, four days a week, you know, for just focusing on a few boring movements, right, doing some conditioning. I walk a lot. You know, diet's not particularly exciting. I eat the same five or six foods most of the time because it works for me. I feel good on it and it gets results, right? So, you know, that's what it comes down to. So you just have to just just keep that in mind, guys. Number three, you don't know why you're taking supplements, right? And, you know, this goes without saying, but the funny thing is I've had multiple conversations over the years with guys, especially with some some things like BCAs, branch chain amino acids, right? People say, "Oh, it's a precursor to protein. You need you need more BCAs to 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 um, assimilate more protein, or you need to you need more BCAs to help you grow uh, muscle faster." And that's false. A lot of guys, in my experience, <clears throat> don't even know what BCAAs are, why they're taking them. The only thing they know is either their buddy told them that. They should be taking it. They heard about it somewhere. They saw an ad on, you know, whatever, Facebook, YouTube, whatever. And they're like, well, that looks pretty cool. Or, or some big name celebrity influencer, you know, a Jocko, David Goggins, one of those types of guys mentioned something about a particular supplement that's, you know, really helped them out, whether it's BCAAs, creatine, monohydrate, whatever. And they start taking it thinking, okay, this is going to help me. But but the only thing they're really doing is spending 50, 80, 100, 150 bucks a month on something that they have no idea what's helping. And again, I'm just going to go keep referencing back to the basics of get your basics in order, get your shit together consistently for six months, a year before you even think about branching out, looking at supplements. Do I need to do this? You don't need a protein powder unless you're somebody that just has an incredible insane schedule where you just can't eat right you're so you're on the road or you're in surgery or you're you know you're in a room where you can't you know eat every you know handful of hours to get enough protein then a protein supplement or shake you know may make sense sure at the end of the day you do need enough protein but for the vast majority of us we're just not we're just making excuses oh i'm too busy i I can't i can't break away for a meal yes you can you just don't want to because it's easier to not eat and just take a protein shake instead. So keep that in mind as well. Number four, you're on a budget. And, you know, in this environment, right, with COVID, a lot of people, I mean, millions of people have lost their jobs. People are struggling financially. Yeah, we're trying to cut corners. You know, it's affected my business as well. Yet I see it time and time again. I post this question, you know, once in a while about what's the last thing you spent money on fitness-wise. And a lot of times it's a supplement, you know, and it's something I, you know, I don't, these crazy ass supplements, these, um, you know, pre-workouts, post-workouts, and they're spending, you know, these things aren't cheap. You guys know, right? 30, 40, $50 for one little bottle that lasts maybe a few weeks or a month at the most. And you're taking a few different things, right? Instead, redirect those funds, take $50 a month <clears throat> that you were spending on, your pre-workout that you don't necessarily need and use it to buy better foods because buying healthy foods is more expensive than eating Oreos and Doritos, but it's not that much more expensive. And honestly, your dollar for dollar, that's, that's, you can, that's way better to spend an extra 30, 40, $50 a month on high quality foods, you know, organic if you can afford it, grass-fed meat if you can afford it, then going out and, and just eating like average whatever food, spaghetti and meatballs, you stop it off at Wendy's, um, and then uh, spending that money on supplements thinking you're going to 
you know, fix it or make it better, or it's going to help you in some way. It's not. Instead, redirect those funds. Just buy better foods. I mean, that's honestly the best thing you can do. A lot of guys listening to this are pretty new to fitness, right? You don't know a ton, and that's fine. You're like, my goal has always been to teach the basics. Um, you know, I just... I think a lot of people tend to overcomplicate fitness. I try to make it as simple as possible because honestly, I believe it is extremely simple. You know, it's not easy, but it's simple. It, 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 like I said, it's just, it honestly is a few basic things. If you don't know what you're doing and not, you know, a lot of guys don't want to admit they don't know what they're doing because we have egos. But if you don't know what you're doing, you have no business going into the store and, and buying supplements and it just yeah of course you can do it right what you can do whatever you want right it's your money it's your life whatever it's your body but i'm just saying from my perspective unless you have like a solid plan you're on the advanced side of training and you have a very specific goal you don't need supplements Right, so for so so I'm talking to the majority of guys listening to this. You don't know what you're doing. Just stick to training hard, training progressively, eating clean, getting plenty of sleep, drinking plenty of water, and letting time help you. Right, spend some time educating yourself. Working on the basics. Okay, hire a coach. You know, if you're interested in coaching, you can certainly reach out to me. Um, and just start to understand, you know, what's going to work for you, what's not going to work for you, what type of approach of, to eating works for you, what kind of training do you enjoy, what kind of training, you know, inspires you to keep going or motivates you to keep going. Those those are the important questions. It's not uh, which supplement should I buy? Should I buy raspberry or should I buy? Um, you know, lemon lime, it's, you know, looking at the basics, looking at the things that are going to work for you. So, you know, if you're a relative newbie or you've been laid off, you know, uh, off for, for years, you're just getting back into it, or you just, you're just not that familiar with the world of health and fitness. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's like me talking about, you know, becoming a lawyer. I mean, I just don't know much about that lifestyle. So I'd have to really educate myself before I was able to have an intelligent discussion. So you just want to equip yourself with as much knowledge as possible. Start making progress. Then, and only then, I believe you should really start, you know, potentially looking at supplements, but but not before then. It just doesn't make sense. You know, and, and so I don't want... I don't want you to misunderstand this podcast either. I'm not bashing all supplements. Um, you know, I've worked with supplement companies before. Are there are there places for whey protein supplements? Yes. Uh, is is there a place for fish oil? Sure. Is there a place for some other vitamins and minerals? Vitamin D? Yes. Pre workouts? Possibly. Creatine monohydrate? Yes, probably one of the more popular supplements, it can help. But again, you need to know why you're taking creatine, right? It does work. It can help you build muscle. I've taken it before. I haven't taken it in years, but I have taken it multiple times and it has helped. I know there's, it's been massively studied. And so just don't take it to take it. Have a goal and, and understand what it does, how it does it, and why you're taking it. So anyway, I hope this helps, guys. Again, please just... You know, if you take anything from this, it's not fuck all supplements. It's, all right, let me just take a real assessment of where I am from my health and fitness. You know, how do I feel? How am I moving? How's my strength? How's my overall health? What are my goals? What do I want to do? And then just start working slowly on building up just proper habits, good habits, get in the gym, get training hard consistently week after week after week. Start replacing some of the junky foods in your diet with better ones. Start replacing some of the sh shitty drinks in your diet with water. Start to get a little more sleep, power off the electronics a little bit earlier, and slowly you'll start seeing and feeling a difference. And honestly, that's what it's all about. You know, once you start feeling a difference, you're seeing a difference, it starts to snowball, things will get better. 
And, you know, of course, as always, if you have specific questions about any of this stuff, I, you know, I try to make myself available. I'm, I'm happy to talk to anybody about any of this stuff. Always, uh, you know, could find me on social. Uh, the Fit Dad Nation is my handle on Instagram and uh, Facebook. And uh, you can always hit me up on email, stevenfitdadnation.com. And I will catch up with you next week. Thanks for joining us. And remember, if you want more information, check out the Fit Dad Basecamp group on Facebook. And don't forget to stop by fitdadnation.com. Until next time, keep kicking ass and taking the next step. You can do this, Dad. Dad.